Measurable testimonies. First edition begins first through 16 September 2021. The time is 5 to 6 a.m. GMT plus 1. You can also connect live to Celebration TV, Sky Channel 598 and all our social media platforms. Indeed, you will have a life! Years. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first 31 years. She's walking. 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what it is. He was blind. Hello, good day, Papa. God bless you, sir. My name is Oyeka Chokwara. I'm here to return glory to God of wonder without number. Indeed, it has been a blessing to my family. Before now, we have been struggling, believing God for fruitfulness, our second baby. And we, and we wrote a prayer request on June. And in our prayer request, we ask God that we need a, we need fruit of the womb, me and my wife. And when my wife went to hospital on August, it was confirmed that she is pregnant. I'm here to return all glory to God of wonders without number. And also thank God for miracle money. Indeed, it's real. Thank you, Papa, for allowing yourself to be used by God. You have been a blessing to generation. May the Lord increase you the more and bless you the more. Thank you, Papa. God bless you, sir. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Wonder With Us Number Family. My time has come. My name is Sister Dora from Omega Fire Ministry, Bata, Equatorial Guinea. I want to thank God the God of Wonder With That Number, what it has been doing in my life. Since I started following Wonder With That Number, since they started my life, my spiritual life has changed. I thank God for that. My second testimony is that in the 12th, in August edition of Wonder With That Number, that did locate me. He said, there is a lady who has been fighting for your work to lose, to lose work. And I thump it to it. I say amen because that was my case. And he said, you will start losing work. I say amen. But the next day, I start losing, losing work. I'm fine now. And everything is going well. I thank God for that. My second testimony is that in Saturday, I start feeling a very sharp pain in my eyes that I can't even open my eyes. Um, I can't even open my eyes, I can't do everything I slept off. In the morning, the case was worse. I'd say, oh God, how am I going to go to church today? How am I going to interpret the word of God that people will hear me? How am I going to do because I can't even see with that eyes? And that same Sunday morning, Wonder With That Number, that he locate me, he said, somebody have a pain in her eyes, a growth into her eyes because the thing was like something is inside my eyes. I put my 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 hands, daddy pray, and then after that the thing disappeared immediately. I enter my bathroom, I bath and I went to church that day. I want to thank God, thank you, Daddy, thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Good afternoon, Papa. I'm Prudencia from Dubai. I want to thank God for this program, Wonders Without Number. Last month, I submitted a prayer request on behalf of my elder sister who was diagnosed of bilateral tubal blockage. Papa, to the glory of God, she was the doctor advised her to do the second test, which she did this month. And she received her result yesterday, the 21st of August. And the result was bilateral tubal Patency, meaning both tubes are open. This can only be God. Indeed, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a woman to pray, there is a God to answer. I've come to give the testimony to glorify God and to put the enemy to shame. 
I thank God for prayers answered. Thank you, Jesus, for my time has come. My family time has come. Those that believe in their prophets, I believe our time has come. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, my name is Pastor Joel Akindi, based in Abuja. The name of my ministry is Live Embassy Worldwide. Uh, I really want to appreciate God for wonders without numbers. And uh, what God has been doing since I started following the prayer, it has really been from glory to glory. Um, there was a particular time just a few months back, I, I was having a challenge with um, our resident where we do ministry, where we hold ministry, because we're not having our own personal space. So I texted Papa and I saw the a seed, a certain amount of seed, and connected to wonders without numbers. He replied the text message and says, God grant you your request. And after that message, it wasn't up to a month, the Lord did it. Now we have a space in the ministry. We have built the ministry within the space of a month. God did it amazingly. And I've been receiving a lot of testimonies um, concerning miracle money from outside the country and in nigeria i've been receiving a lot lots of miracle money testimony lots of it people do bless me when i'm not expecting it i've seen money several times in my accounts calling he sent it and before to be a while the person will now say i'm the one so i really want to appreciate god for what he has done and also there was a prophetic word papa gave in this august edition about an explosion, a gas explosion, that he's seen a gas explosion. Um, I think that was yesterday, my wife was in the kitchen cooking, and all of a sudden, the gas exploded. But to our greatest surprise, because during that period when Papa prayed, he says the, 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 the explosion is canceled. The thing shaked the whole building, but to the glory of God, the fire did not touch her. The fire did not destroy the gas. Everything was just came back to normal. So I really want to appreciate God for what he has done. May God bless you, Papa, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Greetings, Papa. I am Isabel, Pastor Isabel from Cameroon, Bamenda. I want to thank you, man of God. Your ministration has really blessed me so much. Wonders without numbers is wonders without numbers indeed. I started following you on Celebration TV uh, in 2020 when my spiritual father, Apostle Akon Golov, recommended that I start following you on uh, Celebration TV. It has been awesome. It has been wonderful. It has been mind blowing. You know, I, I just I don't just know where to start. I started following you wonderful number from inception, and I've been having testimonies upon testimonies. You know, before then, I have been trying to start up a prayer cell. I didn't even know where to start it or the location, or I didn't even have the money to even rent an, a, a place or a room. But God, and I've been like going out for evangelism, serious evangelism. I will go and win souls. The day of the, 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 the prayer cell will come, nobody will show up. Some will call me and tell me that they are, are the one to thank me for preaching to them. They have decided to fellowship there and there. Bless God. I kept on like that and it was not successful until when I started uh, on July edition, during the July edition, where you say we should go back where we are rejected. I actually uh, uh, started on that July and it, 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 went, wonder, it went well. Uh, my landlord offered me his parlor. You see the house down below here for the prayer cell and this august i decided to start the second one somewhere in another location and the testimonies they have been mind-blowing man of god you won't believe it instant testimony miracles in short there has been from one testimony to the other i sent a prayer request about my spiritual father that god's hand should be might upon him and that the ministry should expand you know he himself is testifying man of god on the 15th of august 2021 when you were uh, ministering on a uh, dealing with stagnation part two power of god hit me right in my room it was so in short powerful oh my god i can't really say it is too much and 
we are praying and looking forward to the day that I and my spiritual father will meet you one on one. Man of God, I can't say it all. It is too much. It is too much. It is too much. In short, the God of wonders without number is, is a God of wonders without number. Indeed, our time has come. Life! Years. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first 31 time. years. She's walking 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what it is. He was blind. Yeah. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first 31 years. She's walking 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what it is. He was blind. Yeah. I want to return all the glory to God for what he has done for me. My name is Pastor Joshua from Ghana. Uh, one morning, my son just woke up and started complaining uh, sick. We took him to the hospital, and the doctor said it was asthma. I rejected it at the first point. I rejected it because it was not the word of God for me. And secondly, because such a thing is not in my family. And I knew that it was an attack from the devil against my family. But during the, the August audition of Wonders With That Number, I think on the 30th August, whilst Papa was ministering, Papa said that, uh, Papa just spoke and said, asthma is leaving, God is destroying and taking away asthma. From that day, God healed my son and took away asthma and that attack from the devil. Uh, my second testimony is that, my family, they used, we used to have this thing like itchings on our body, very severe chronic itching. But during one of, during that same day, whilst Papa was ministering, Papa said that that itchings you have been feeling on your body, that severe itching, it is gone. God has taken it away. It is destroyed. And that day, I was having that severe itchings on my body. And it stopped as Papa gave the word. And from that day, I have not experienced it again. And I know that the God of Apostle John C. Suleiman, the God of wonders without numbers, has delivered me and my family. And so I want to return all the glory to God and to thank you so much, Papa, and thank you so much, Mama, and all the team that are behind you. God richly bless you. My time has come. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Favor, Pastor Mrs. Favor, and it's where. I want to thank the Lord for his goodness, the God of wonders without number, the God of my father, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. And I want to thank my father for his tireless effort to see that things work out well for us. I want to thank God for this program that has brought joy to us. Now, my testimony goes to us. When we came to this place, we did not have any place. We started service in our home. Our parlor was getting small. We needed land. Ah, we had to pray. We embarked in prayers. God directed my husband a place through one man. And when the man when he got there, he took the number of the owner of the land. It's a woman. And the woman doesn't live in the same region with us. She had to travel. She asked us to send her transport to come and meet us. So why come in? We didn't know she has contacted other people to sell the land. So she came here. She came with five different people. Bank owners. Others, other people that had money. Much money to come and buy the land. So when they came, it was an issue. But before then, we had one assurance. I had seen my father in the Lord in a dream. I met with him. And he was in a workshop. That is how I always meet him, either in the workshop or he's impacting people. So when I met with him, I said, Papa, where is Mama? He said, Mama is coming. Mama is also busy. So one thing he told me, he said, you push, you go and take the land, pay for the land and go. And be in service, holding service there. I had this assurance. I woke up and told my husband that Papa said we should go and take that land. I'm sure the house, that place is our own. So when does this boy dragging up and down, pulling, pulling, pulling? I had one assurance that God has told me through my father and the Lord that that place is our own, that we will have it. So when those people came, they were coming to 
they were coming with their money. We don't blame them. They were coming, and the woman also wanted money. She said she wants to send her children to school and all they like. Finally, after the dragging here and there, he finally came and told my pastor that don't bother pastor who will give us who will give you the place because he came with she came with her brother and her brother was saying that he wants her to sell the lamb that she sell the lamb but later on the brother said okay pastor you should go and sleep night has a lot of things to produce let us see whether tomorrow we'll give you the lamb or we'll sell it so he told everybody to go the next day they were dragging dragging say 1 p.m finally finally god made it possible he told my husband pastor come they called him on phone after they had i don't know what happened with the other people he said pastor come bring your id bring it the contract let us sign it they sign it and they sign it he said okay we pay the money one hundred and twenty thousand saver for six months this is really god it is only the god of wonders that nobody that can do this that is the money we had at hand we do not have any other money they refused six million they refused other money and they took one hundred and twenty thousand saver for six months papa we thank God for your obedience to the voice of the Lord. Uh, since I started to uh, listen, following the wonders with a number, when I heard uh, there was a miracle, miracle money are late, I decided to put my ATM card on the, on the TV. And uh, since then, people that I don't know, those people that I could only help me when I, when I asked them, they have been sending money. Sometimes I get the money are late with a notification, donation. I don't know the persons. May the good Lord continue to bless you, Papa. And the last one, I got, I got, I got the money from a person who had promised me three years ago that she wanted to give me the money, but the money she has put it on a life insurance, meaning I could only get that money when she dies. I insisted for the last three years she couldn't do, she couldn't change her mind. But since we started live, my wonders with our number, Papa, it is working. She phoned me and sent me some money, which I never expected. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. In this, my time has come. I want to thank God for, the, for God of wonders with that number. Thank our Papa, Apostle John Suleiman, because he has done many things in my life through this platform. From the beginning of me, I start following the one brother introduced me into this platform, Wanda with that number, where it was not easy for me in Kuwait. I was sharing tears. The day I learned my phone in this school, I always share tears, always share tears. I always cry. Ask God for help. I ask God for help. I was crying. I ask God for help. So since the day the brother connected me on the platform from the first day to today, I never miss one day. If I miss one day, there there is idea. If I want to get contact, if your Papa is online, I want to get same contact with same with Papa at the same time she's praying. So I want to thank God for that prayer and God for wonders with that number through Papa. I call it Papa because he do many things in the life of people always, especially in my own life. I thank God for Papa Johnson, Suleiman, Papa Johnson, Suleiman. So I want to thank God, may God bless him, he never go down. What, any that I saw, I say, Father, I do ask for things. I do ask the grace you have keep me, and this grace you have make Papa to stay, to know God more and more. Let it come upon me. Let God keep me because Papa always say, Le, if you are strength, fame, means you are strength too weak. So when Papa is praying, so I will take the phone and put it on my head. Because it was not easy on me in this COVID. I will always cry. But the day I connect the platform, I was facing hard time. I was facing hard time. But the day I connect the platform, I know that uh, I don't know how to reach and right way. But God done it for me. They will always attack me on my head, press my head, press my head, press my head. The one that I connect with Papa online. Oh, God is faithful. Indeed, God is faithful. This connection, because I did not know how to testify, but somebody showed me how to testify. So I want to give God the thanks, honor. My name is Sister Bridget. I'm a Cameroonian working in, in Kuwait. Life! Wow!
31 years. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first 31 years. She's walking 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what it is. He was blind. Yeah. you papa god bless you my time has come my name is sister christine i'm a french speaking i live in holland and um, but i'm from cameroon i wrote everything down so that uh, i'll be able to read it and explain it was be it will be easy to explain myself i want to thank god for what god is using you to change my life my prayer life has changed i become addicted to the word of god and I even found out that uh, God, that I had a call of God upon my life, that God may use me to stop evil in my family. Because in my family, women are not getting married. Too much untimely death, misfortune, and if you try to rise up, they may try to kill you. Everybody is afraid to go to the village. It doesn't matter what, what is there, nobody go there. Even the, <laughs> the dash you go there, you will not go there because you are afraid to die. So, and I try to contact my family and let them know that something wrong somewhere, we need to pray, but nobody's interested. So I'm remaining the only one that, uh, that, that is praying. So I volunteer to be a decision for my family. And then I begin to watch all the preaching, the last preaching of Papa. If you see, even the preaching of today is, does God know you? Is the preaching of today the uh, para, parable the code voice of God you can see it here and then uh, last time it was uh, deliverance I studied the Word of God every time and then came wonders with that number that which must die I was very happy for that topic so I pray every morning I wake up and I pray not even I pray I have a pen and a paper and then I will write all the Bible verse down I will do my own I will I will study them later after the prayer when I I come back from work I will study the Word of God I'm addicted to the Word of God so my time has come so soon I've been traveling to my country. I will gather my brother and sister so that we can pray together and using those Bible verses. And my big challenge is that I want to go to my village <laughs> where it seems to be impossible to everybody because my grandmother left a piece of land for me and me, I don't like city. If I go to my country, you know, I would like to go in the village with my children and have a good time there. It's my desire. So my challenge is to go there. So. I'm, I'm equipping myself. I really want to join the Zoom and maybe, uh, I don't know, join the Bible school in Nigeria. I don't know because I feel that I have a calling of God upon my life. Nobody's standing the gap. They are not interested. It's like the anger is coming inside of me. I want to pray. I want him to stop in my family. How can you have a village you can't go there? Me, I don't like the city. I, I need to go to the village. I don't like city when I go to uh, vacation. So my time has come. Thank you, Papa. Que je te benis. Que je te benis, Papa. God bless you. I'm, gi I'm giving my testimony because it doesn't happen only to others. It happened to me as well. On Monday when Papa was praying on wonders without number, I put all my cards on the TV screen and I pray after I finish praying, I con Papa finished the, the session and I continue my prayers. So, and after the after a while, I took my card, I put them in my bag. 
so I continue like that for the week and Tuesday I pray and Wednesday I miss the prayer earlier so but I still take the prayer uh, after and in the afternoon I think and I continue because I was praying my personal prayer in the morning so I continue I wasn't fasting so I took with one verse without number and I start praying so and I was so happy because God, uh, uh, Holy Spirit revealed something to me. And for me, that was the, for me, God has revealed the roots of my problem. And I feel like I just, million just laid on my account because I, God has revealed me this thing. So Papa was finished, finished prayer. And after I went on my knee to make declaration with him as he do, always do. And so when he was reading a testimony of the woman, will receive an alarm of about 50,000. So at the same time Papa was reading the testimony, my phone vibrated because I had the phone that I was listening to the prayer and I have my normal phone. So I checked my phone. I saw a message from my bank. Okay. And I there was another one. I, wow. I, so, so, so account on your, so, so, so amount, I'm sorry, on your account. And I'm like, no, no, that's not true. I took a screenshot. I, you will see people, those pictures, when I put my card on the screen, when I receive the alert, and when I withdraw the money, just to show that it is not skin, it is real. As God is real, miracle money is real. Miracles, period, are real. It is too small for God to do. Too small, too small, too small. So just believe, activate your faith as I did mine, and you will receive. People who's talking, Papa, keep rocking. Let them talk. Keep talking, and we keep rocking. And miracles ended my time has come. Papa, my name is Stevie Nodomero. I work with Nigeria Air Force. Wonders with us numbers has been a great blessing for me. It has changed my prayer life. It gave me the urge to always listen to you. Even my prayer life with my family, I see the love of God in my family. Even in my working place, I receive favor. A living testimony of miracle money. There's no week that will pass I will not receive miracle money. I want to give God all the praise. Papa, more grace and may God bless you richly. More anointing. Thank you, Papa. God bless you. Good morning, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. My name is Emily Nyendo from Zambia. Um, during July edition Wonders Without Numbers, I conceived for the first time in seven years. And then the same night, I, I sent a message. I sent a message by the emails. I think two different emails, even with the confirmation of the pregnancy test. And then, all this time, I've also been sending um, prayer requests that your God may preserve my babies and yes, my babies and my pregnancy. And I've been praying for good health. Then today, today the twenty fifth of the twenty fifth of um, August, I went for a scan, and this is the the report which I've been given. I don't know if you're able to see it, but this is the report I've been given. The report is saying that there is a single intrauterine embryo um, measuring 1.76 centimeters, eight weeks, one day. And then they're saying no cardiac activity seen, gestation age like a, a gestation age is no more internal cervical os is closed as in is closed meaning everything is fine everything is normal but they cannot see the cardiac activity of my baby so they've told me to go for a scan after after a week god of apostle johnson Suleiman, i've seen him perform miracles for people a lot of people i've seen women who were given report at the hospital that their baby has died and apostle johnson Suleiman prayed and the baby came alive and today i am here i pray i'm asking that god of apostle johnson Suleiman can also do it for me so i'm sending this video as 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 a prayer request 
as a prayer request, Papa, you've prayed, we've prayed during the Wonders Without Numbers. After seven years, I got married in 2014, and after seven years, I conceived without the help of the doctor. I conceived because of your prayers, because of prayers, I conceived. And after I've conceived, I cancel the bad news and I bring this to you because I believe in your God and because I know that when I go for a risk, can after a week, I pray. I, I Life! Yes. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first 31 time. years. She's walking. 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what he He was blind. He Counter my God said this solitary families he bring get out those which are bound with chains Wonders without number September edition with Apostle Johnson Suleiman <laughs> Welcome to Wonders Without Number. My time has come. Amen. Amen. I am so excited that the testimonies we are hearing as a result of these encounters that people are having with God. I'm getting loads of testimonies. And the most valuable of them, as far as I'm concerned, is people suddenly becoming lovers of God. People becoming addicted to the Word of God. People becoming addicted to Scriptures and people becoming passionate about God, just seeking Him and crying to Him as expression of their love. Isn't God wonderful? And I'm believing God with you today that you are going to have that encounter also in your life. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, because something is about to happen in your entire life. Amen. Amen. God is about to visit you. Amen. Job chapter 9 verse 10 says, He doeth things past finding out, yea, wonders without number. He doeth great things past finding out, yea, wonders without number. That's what God does. He's about to give you so many testimonies that you will lose count. Amen. What is wonders without number? Wonders without number is having testimonies till you lose count of it. 
Wonders without number is having testimony all around your life. Wonders without number is having testimony that displays the powerful grace of God, the almightiness of God. Welcome. Psalm 102 verse 13 says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. I like you to get somebody now. Share the link and touch the like button right this minute. When you touch the like button, you are a blessing to somebody. You are a blessing to families. You are a blessing to nations. In other words, when the video pops up easily for them to see it, it means you contributed to that blessing. The Bible says in Daniel 12, 3, A day that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and they that bring many to, atonement to righteousness as the stars forever. So God wants you to win a soul today. Win a soul. Proverbs 11.30 the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. He that winneth a soul is wise. So right now, touch the like button and then we are going to begin to pray. I'm so excited today. We are about to start praying. And I know God is a God that answers prayer. Amen. He will answer prayer. Amen. Warfare. War is the name of God. War is the name of God. What characterizes the Lord is war. Exodus 15, 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So we are going to pray. There are different kinds of prayer. This month we have been handling the prayer of favor. You no. Know, everything, everything that you know, encapsulates favor, the totality of favor, is what we are handling. God bringing a man, God activating your time, God releasing helpers. So we are checking out favor in this general note, checking out favor from all these forms and facets on how we can assess it. Because God wants you to live a life of favor. If you are going to depend on labor, I'm telling you the truth. You cannot get to the zenith of your life. You can't get to the apex of your life. You need favor. It's good to get a job. It's good to get a business. It's good to get multiple streams of income. But for you to assess the height and fullness of what God has you know, promised you, you must have favor. You must enjoy favor. You must get initiated into the company of the favored. It doesn't matter what men do to you. It doesn't matter what your boss in the office does. It doesn't matter what your family does. Actually, the favored are not always the favorites. The favorites are not always the favored. Go through scripture, you're going to find out that most people who we are favored, we are those who we actually fought. So, let you be at rest. Don't allow the pressures come to you. Don't let it get, get at you. God has a plan. He has an agenda for your life. And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter the nation you are in, it doesn't matter the continent you are in, it doesn't matter where you find yourself, the plan and the purpose of the Lord for your life will come to pass. Amen. Somebody say it three times, my time has come. My time has come. Say it again. My time has come. Say it again. My time has come. My time has come. And I believe your time has come. Amen. Touch the like button as we consider something from the word of God. And begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent reign it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent reign it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord, God omnipotent reigneth, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord, God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent reign. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent reign. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, how great thou art, immortal God, invisible God. Immortal God, how great thou art. Immortal God, invincible God. Immortal God, how great thou art. Immortal God. Invincible God, immortal God, how great thou art, immortal God, invincible God, immortal God, how great thou art. Immortal God, invincible God, immortal God, how great thou art, immortal God, invincible God, immortal God. How great thou art. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. My God, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are kind. My Lord, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are kind. My Lord, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power, my Lord, you are wonderful, my God, you are excellent. Excellent is your name, excellent is your power, my Lord, you are wonderful, my God, you are excellent. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power, Lord, you are wonderful, my God, you are excellent, excellent is your name, excellent is your power, my Lord, you are wonderful, my God, you are Excellent. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you, 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 Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Now, I want you to consider something from Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Please, right now, wherever you are, touch the like button if you are watching online with us and share this link. Somebody needs to join us to pray. Somebody needs to hear what God is saying. So touch the like button now. Do that. Everyone watching, touch the like button and we are going to begin to consider some things from the word of God. I'm telling you, there is a big, big, huge blessing that's coming your way right now. Amen. There's a huge blessing that's coming your way right now. Amen. As you are entering into a new week, I'm telling you, you are going to be so surprised. What Jesus will do for you this week shall be powerful. Amen. He will show you mercy. Amen. He will show you favor. Amen. He will show you grace. Amen. And he will glorify himself in your life. Amen. So touch the like button now. Everybody online, touch the like button. Okay. I, I, for the sake of emphasis, my emphasis is verse 7. But for the sake of explicit understanding, I will read from verse 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error. This evil is compared to an error that proceeded from the ruler. Talking of an error in royalty. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. I have seen. This is it. This is it. I have seen servants upon horses and priests walking as servants upon the earth. This was a preacher. Solomon was a preacher. was a man of wisdom. He didn't say, I feel. He said, I have seen. Meaning, in reality, servants are on horses and priests are trekking a servant. The horses are meant for the priests. But the servants took the horses from the princes. Servants are on horses. He, never, he didn't say servants are wearing garments and princes are naked as servants on the earth. He didn't say servants are wearing crowns and princes have no crowns on their head. He didn't say servants are holding a staff. And princes have no staff. It was specific on one element. Servant upon horses. The most important thing to take from a prince, according to this verse, is the horse. Servants are on horses. Princes walking. The only thing they took from the life of the prince or from their royalty was their horse. I'm sure by the Spirit of God you already understand where I'm going. The biggest headache the devil has over the life of a destiny child is his speed. Horses signify or represent speed. It means that once the devil sees a royalty, he sees one with a destiny, and he cannot stop the plan of God, he does everything to delay it. All the errors that have been fired into your life, you got into a wrong marriage, you got into a wrong job, you got into a wrong apartment, all of you met wrong people, wrong relationship, you entered in a wrong ministry, you invested in a wrong business, all of those satanic strategy is to slow down your speed. Imagine a woman or a man enters a wrong age, 25 years, 30 years, is deleted from your life. Imagine you get into a wrong business, you spend seven, eight years batting out of common. Satan strategizes in provoking and sponsoring delay. So what they took from the princes was the horse. What they took from them were their horses. Servants are on horses and princes are walking. The enemy wants to delay. God is against delay. God wants to act speedily. Ecclesiastes 8, 11 says, because evil, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of men is set fully in them to do evil. God is a God of speed. In Luke 18, verse 8, it says, the event is elect speedily. In Isaiah 58, verse 8, it says, it will restore our health. When we fast, it will restore our health speedily. 
Psalm 31 verse, verse 2. The word of the Lord says, answer me speedily. Answer me speedily. Psalm 69, 17. Hear me speedily. Psalm 143 verse 7. Hear me speedily. In Ezra 6 verse 12, he said, let it be done speedily. God wants to enjoy speed. The word of the Lord was speaking, the Lord was speaking through David. And he said that in 1 Samuel 21 verse 8, the last phrase, he said, the king's business requires haste. Satan wants to delay you. Get you involved in one battle to another, one battle to another, because their, their target is to take your horse. They know they can't stop the plan of God for your life, but they can delay it. Look at Jesus. Three and a half years of ministry, he shook the world. Till date, the effect of his ministry is still be seen. Three and a half years of ministry. So what makes you think you have to be 25 years, 30 years in ministry to make impact? Jesus, three and a half years of ministry. And he shook the world until today. The ministry of reconciliation is still on. Why? Speed. Speed. I decree speed come into your life. Amen. I decree speed come into your family. Amen. I decree speed come into your life. Amen. I decree speed come into your life. Amen. I decree speed come into your life. Amen. You will write this. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. You will type it on your platform. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Wonders without number. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Hashtag wonders without number. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Wonders without number. We are praying that the anointing for speed fall upon me. Amen. When the anointing for speed, see, Abraham sent his servant to go get a wife for Isaac. And the servant prayed one prayer. Two prayers actually. One was for the angel to go with him. Number two, in Genesis 24 verse 12, he said, give me speed. Speed. The angel to preserve you, you need preservation. Speed. Genesis 24 and verse 12. And he said, O oh Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Speed so that you get things on time. David was speaking in Psalm chapter 90, verse 14. Satisfy us early. If a lady gets married at 45, how many years more will she enjoy her marriage? The word of God guarantees your mate. He created them male and female. You cry to God, I am a female. Here is my male. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, I think verse 16. He said, we search the word Find it. He said, all dead shall be fulfilled. None shall want a mate. None shall want a mate. This is a scripture. If you are believing God to settle down as a lady, this is a scripture you should give to the Lord. Send the scripture back to him. I told you, I said, this is a letter. It is when you pronounce it, it becomes word. It becomes spirit and life. When you take it from the letter, and you, that's why you must know the Bible. You must know the word of God, actually. When you take it and you confess it back to the Lord, Hosea 14, 2 say, bring, take with you words. Look at what the Bible says in Isaiah 34, 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want a mate. This is a scripture for every lady believing God to get married. For my mouth it hath commanded, and a spirit it hath gathered them. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You need speed. And that's why God is using me today. To open your eyes to say you have been delayed more than expected. It's time for God. I like the word. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you're watching a movie, you have a remote. You're watching a video. You're slotting your video player or your video cassette or CDs. And you get to a part of the movie or the program you're watching that is, you don't feel excited about. That's what they call fast forward. God will fast forward you. Amen. God will fast forward you. Amen. God will fast forward you. Amen. 
When the Bible says all the years the can can warm my feet, Satan, Satan does not eat food. He doesn't eat fruit. He eats years. When the Bible says, in, I will restore Joel 2.25, what the Bible is trying to say is that the enemy's target is to delay you. But when restoration comes, I give you speed. I will restore all the years. All the years. They consume years. Manipulate you into doing wrong things. Manipulate you so that they can waste your years. As you hear the sound of my voice, speed is coming to your life. Amen. Speed is coming to your life. Amen. Share the link right now. Share the link. Touch the like button now. Everybody watching because we're about to pray. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. We're going to say that seven times. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. 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 You will say it loud and clear. Type it now. Let the devil go mad. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Type it. Type it. I receive speed in the name of Jesus, hash, wonders without number. I receive speed in the name of Jesus, hashtag, wonders without number. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. We're going to say it seven times, and then we turn that in prayer. Number one. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Number two. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Number three. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Number four. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Number five. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Number six. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Number seven. I receive speed in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray, anointing for speed, come upon me, come upon me, come upon me, come upon me, anointing for speed, come upon me, anointing for speed, come upon me, open your mouth and fire prayers, anointing for speed, I refuse to be delayed, anointing for speed, come upon my life, come upon my family, come upon my home, come upon my life, 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 come upon Yeah, that's all. 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 Yeah, that's all.
In Jesus' name. We are going to take one more prayer. We'll continue this scripture for the next two or three days. There are so many revelations the Lord will open your eyes to see. But we'll take this one again. He said, I have seen seven upon horses and princes walking as servants on the earth. On horses. I told us all signifies speed. When you talk about princes walking as servants, the servant on horses, it means there was something taken from the servant, from the, from the princes. Something was taken. Something was taken. Their possession was taken. The horse belonged to them. We have seen what it means spiritually, but now let's undo what it means physically. Something physical was taken from them. That's their possession. We're going to pray. Whatever was stolen from me, in the name of Jesus, I recover all. Amen. Spiritually, it's, it means speed. But physically, it's their possession. Something was taken from them. Whatever was stolen from, my, from me and my family members, we recovered them in the name of Jesus. Amen. All that was stolen from my family members and myself, we recovered them in the name of Jesus. Amen. All that was stolen from me and members of my family, we recovered them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus as, I pray, as I begin to pray. All that was stolen from me and members of my family. We recovered them in the name of Jesus. We recover them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to recover all. All that was stolen from me. And members of my family. We recover. We recover. I'm <laughs> 
In Jesus' name, I pray for you today. Connect your faith to my faith. By the power of the Holy Spirit, no more delays in your life. I decree the anointing for speed fall upon you in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing 22 people who started projects way back home. And there was a sudden attack in your finances that has slowed down the project for years now. In fact, we're not even talking about it again because of the way things, the battles that just came up. I decree that those projects be completed speedily by you. Amen. May the Lord surprise you to complete it. Amen. May the battles end now. Amen. In fact, there's one of you who is contemplating 
if you should continue the project at home, it's a building project. Because you notice from the day you started that building project, multiplicity of battles, all angles. So you haven't worried that if you put in any fund there again, there will be more battles. No, go ahead. This is an instruction from God. Affliction will not rise again a second time. Amen. Amen. Somebody had a dream that you fell into a pit, a ditch. And when you woke up from that dream, your whole body system changed, especially down your legs. Pains. You fell into a ditch and you hit something. Your leg hit something in that ditch. You woke up and literally, that spot where you felt the pain or felt the heat in this dream, you're feeling the pains physically. God said that attack of the enemy is hereby neutralized. Amen! Amen. Someone was given a cup of blood to drink. You know that that thing you drank was blood in the dream. You are not a witch, but you just saw yourself drinking a, pot of, a cup of blood. And from that day till now, you've been drying up. You've been drying up. People are asking you what is wrong with you because of the way you are looking now. I decree that the hand of God neutralize every demonic poison in your system. Amen! Someone's seat office was collected. God is restoring it back to you. Amen. Place your hand where you need a healing. Place your left hand. Place your left hand where you need a healing. I exercise dominion. Someone, your head is going rotten. I don't know how to explain this. Your head smells. Literal head. It's a condition. It's a condition. But right now, Jesus is making you whole. Place one hand where you, where you have the symptoms and stretch your other hand. Your TV set. Your iPads. Your mobile phones. Your laptop. Your desktop. I decree healing into your body. I rebuke infirmity. I command sicknesses to disappear. I command infirmity to disappear. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to take testimonies. I'll pray on the request and I'll pray on your cards. Hear these testimonies and connect to them. My name is Angel Rogers from Douala, Cameroon. Since I joined Wonders Without Number in June, my prayer life has greatly changed. I'm an engineer by profession and I have never completed a single project. But since I started praying with you, I have had one, which I'm about to finish. I also received more than 10% to the value of 400,000 francs commissioning from a recent business, which I, just, which I was just expecting. I was just expecting 100,000 francs. My time has come. Good morning, Papa. I'm a doce from Abuja. I thank the God of wonders without number for healing my mother. Some years back, my mother developed a toothache, which led to a swell in her gum. Sometimes it will burst into pus. Anytime you are praying for the sick, she will lay her hand on her mouth. The pain, the pain is gone and the swell dried up. God has also healed me from an itching eye. Glory be to God, my time has come. Miracle money is real. That on the 1st of September, prayers, after the prayer session, you said we should not log out. That we should remain on the platform and listen to the testimonies. That if we hear any testimony that we want, we should connect by declaring, I connect. But the next day, I went to the ATM machine with my car to make withdrawal. I already know how much I had because I made withdrawal the previous day. But to my surprise, I discovered the money in my account had doubled. Indeed, my time has come, Uju from Lagos. Good morning, Papa. My time has come. After the last testimony of miracle money, we are again blessed with more from God. Schools opened today after a declaration by government which caught many parents un unprepared. We managed to pay school fees, but we are lacking in the stationaries that our kids required for school. Just this weekend, we found money in the wardrobe, underneath our clothes, drawer in the bedroom, and also <laughs> in the dashboard of the car, which we didn't put there. We bought stationaries for our kids and have some to finish the month on, indeed, our time has come. Onward from Zimbabwe. 
May God's angel surprise you with miracle money. Amen. My name is Madam Ajong Joan from Limbe, Cameroon. I want to thank God for his divine favor in my life. A hair part of mine just showed up recently and decided to set up a business for me to manage. She had previously decided not to, not to go ahead with the idea for the shop, but as we prayed for helpers, God answered our prayers, our helper, as, and my helper decided to open the shop, which would be of great financial help to me. I give God all the glory indeed my time has come. Receive your helpers. Amen. My name is Ayando Promise from Italy on the 5th September. As Papa was praying, he said, somebody is suffering from severe heartburn. I quickly jumped up. I said, I'm the one Papa is talking about. The pain was so serious, I couldn't sleep that night. I was even thinking of calling the ambulance after the prayers. Papa, immediately you mentioned my case. The heart bone disappeared. Thank you, Jesus, for healing upon my life and family. Indeed, our time has come. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, Papa. I want to testify unto the Lord and also appreciate the God, the grace of God upon your life on the fifth Wonders Without Number September edition, I was financially favored by my friend without asking. He also gave me dresses to boost my wardrobe and also enhanced my appearance. Papa, my time has come, Mr. Asiama from Ghana. Good morning, Papa. I want to testify of the goodness of God in my life and family. I followed Wonders Without Number all through the month of August. And I was praying for a particular thing and God answered my prayer on the last day of August edition. And it was on my birthday. I want, also want to thank God for deliverance from oppression in the sleep. May the name of the Lord be praised for these miracles. My name is Esther from Uganda. Miracle money is real. On the 1st September, I received one million on my phone from a person I did not expect. And the whole of last week, I encountered a lot of miracle money. My time has come. My name is William from Ghana. I have been addicted to pornography and masturbation for over 10 years now. I joined Wonders Without Number in July and just recently, I had a dream of a half-naked woman who came to my room to seduce me. But a strange man appeared, suddenly appeared in my room, shouted on her. I woke up from the dream. Since then, I haven't felt that urge again. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Papa, on Friday last week, I used, I sent my son to buy some groceries from a supermarket, but unknown to him, he left some of the money I gave him at home. After get, so after getting the specific item I told him to buy, he arrived at the till. That's when he found out he didn't have enough money to pay for grocery. One of the assistants noticed his distress. She offered to pay the remaining for him. My son agreed and came home running with eagerness to tell me, I praise the God of wonders without number. She from the UK. Good morning, Papa. I lost my job on the 1st September. After listening to Wonders Without Numbers September edition, you said, where we are rejected, they will call us back. Immediately, I keyed into it. Monday 6th, my boss called me back <laughs> to resume work. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Paul from Lagos. My name is Samuel from the UK. I, want to, I just want to thank God for opening new doors in my business. And this week, I was announced as the top consultant of the week. Since joining the prayers, I've become addicted and don't want to miss one day. Papa, miracle money is real. It has happened to me practically. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. My name is Godwin Mugisa from OFM Tanzania. On the 3rd September 2021, when you asked those, those who, who want financial favor, to bring out their ATM cards, I placed my wallet, which contains my ATM cards on the phone, and two people who have owed me for over two years came to my mind. They have stopped picking my calls. The next day, one of them who owed me one million Tanzanian shillings, that's $450, called me asking if he still owed me any money. I told him that I was disappointed when he deliberately refused to pay me my money, so I left everything to God. He apologized and asked him to go to his office. I went and he wrote for me a check of one million shillings. He gave me more work to do, which he paid in advance. My time has come. My name is Ama from the USA. I am not a believer of miracle money. Oh, wow. In fact, I've always doubted when you read testimonies on miracle money. Wow. Wow. Okay. I was in America when I checked my bank statement and I saw that my debit card 
was being used in Amsterdam. Immediately, I called my bank, and they said they would refund me money back, refund money back to me. Papa, I was surprised. They refunded me four times. <laughs> she said she was doubting when I was reading. Wow. You know, there are people who just think that these things are just made up. They are just doing it. No. There's no need for it. It is real. There's no need. There's, like I said to people, there's nothing I'm trying to prove. Okay, I have a relationship with Jesus. There's nothing I'm trying to prove. You believe it, it's okay. You don't believe it, it's fine. But everything you see is real. It's genuine. They refunded my money four times. The person stole. Since I... <laughs> Since I joined Wonders Without Number in April, this is my first testimony. I like this last phrase. This is not African bank, oh, but UK bank. <laughs> my time has come. They gave her four times of what the person stole from her. Miracle money. She said, this is not African bank, oh, but UK bank. Wow. She said she didn't believe. She always doubted when I read the testimonies. I thank God for proving to you that he is God. I'm Benita from River State. The morning, this morning, 4th of September, while praying, Papa mentioned that there was someone having a serious headache. I keyed into it, and I believed that it was for me because I've been experiencing a serious headache for almost a year now. It's like something is moving in my head, very painful. Since that time till now, I've, till now, I've not felt that pain. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. My name is Collins on GT from Worry. I have been following this program from inception in the month of April. Whenever I hear you pray for miracle money, I always connect my faith by dropping my ATM card by my phone. On, tw on Thursday, 24th August, I did the same when we were concluding the prayer session. To my amazement that day, the person I'm doing for a job for paid me my complete money, 20000 before the agreed date of the payment. As if that was not enough, I got an alert of 80000 credited to my account by my elder brother without any request. Indeed, my time has come. Papa, we had no money to send our son to school with the lockdown that was happening in our country. But we kept on believing God of wonders without number. Yesterday evening, someone we didn't even expect just called us and gave us the exact money we needed to pay for our son's school fees. Mrs. Sibanda from Zimbabwe. My time has come. Two more testimony before I pray on your cards. A financial favor. My name is Chidima from Inugu. Papa, for so many years now, nobody has ever given me a dime as favor. On the 2nd September, you prayed for an ATM card. The next day, somebody blessed me with some money without me asking. It's really working. I bless the name of the Lord. Papa, I joined Wonders Without Number in June. To the glory of God, I've, I received cash twice from people. They called me to send me money. Another miracle, I registered a transport company which has not started operations because of no capital to us, no access to capital. By the grace of God, I saw a truck to buy, but no money. I sent a proposal to purchase, and the organization approved my request. My health is also perfected. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Right now, I want to pray. Please, if you are watching and you say, Apostle, all these things, I just plead with you for today. Just believe. Because from that lady's request, it's obvious there might be people like her who are asking, these things, are they really true? You... You gain nothing when you disbelieve. Nobody's asking you for anything. All we are saying is just connect your faith. Just obey. Bring out your cards. For those who don't have account numbers, open your heart. God can touch someone. Look at what she, she saw four times. What somebody stole in Amsterdam. Normally the bank will tell you, give us time to process. Give us time to, I've traveled around the world. I can tell you how it works. Give us time to process. Give us time to get back to you. We are looking on your case. But God moved ahead of her. Right now, I speak answers to this request. Yes. I decree this request are granted. Yes. May the God of heaven fulfill your request. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. I decree. Somebody promised you money. Somebody promised to help you. You want a financial surprise. Right now, receive miracle alert. May you get a financial testimony that will shock the ears of your hearers. May you get a financial testimony that will make the ears of those that hear it to tingle. Amen. May God come men and angels to favor you. Amen. May your financial testimony become the topic of a debate in your society. Amen. May this financial testimony become the testimony of the century. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is done. Amen. In 
Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget the studio is still on and let God use you to do what he wants to use you to do. Like I said, we are blessed by God. Our ministry is blessed by God. Whenever God gives an opportunity for people to give, it's because he wants to bless them. You need God more than he needs you. So, obey him and let him do what he wants to do. He told me, make it open. We have, we have huge projects. We don't need to talk to anybody about it. We are fine. God is faithful to us. But whenever I say God tells me, give people opportunity to connect to this, it's because he wants to bless them. All right? So I'll see you tomorrow on the same prayers. And I'm believing God that it's going to be great. It's going to be powerful. Tell somebody about wonders without number. Don't you ever forget this. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Somebody say, my time has come. My time has come. I'll see you tomorrow. Season down, restoration.